So I get questions a lot uh, from my client about how do I get more protein during the day? Like my protein goal is really high. How do I do that? Um, one, a couple of the techniques that I use um, for myself that have really helped me hit my protein goal um, without tracking, without um, measuring, my lifestyle now is, is very in line with my nutrition goals as far as my eating goes. And so I'm pretty confident of, of my protein numbers throughout the day or throughout the days and weeks that I'm hitting roughly, roughly the amount um, that I am shooting for. Um, so in your, um, uh, in your, if you've got your own new custom nutrition guide, you will have a more set protein goal in there. Um, but generally, generally shoot for about a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Now, for those of you wondering how much I weigh, I weigh 175 pounds. If none of you were wondering, now you know I weigh 175 pounds ish. I don't really know. I haven't weighed myself in a while. This protein bar that is now half gone had, tw had well, because it's halfway gone, it had 20 grams of protein. It has about 10 grams now. So when I think about um, hitting my protein goals, now do I want to have nine protein bars a day? No, no, I really don't. I really don't. That's, oof, that's a bit much. That I would say maybe steer clear of nine protein bars. Um, because we want to get it from more complete uh, protein sources like chicken or eggs or fish or tofu or uh, beans, edamame in the Nutrition Master Class series, eat more protein, right? It's in there um, in the section above probably uh, from where this video will land. Um, and so I would highly encourage you to go through there and be able to better understand like, oh, okay, so if I have more Greek yogurt, that's going to help me get to my goals. I typically buy, um, uh, whether it's Chobani or Oikos or whatever, um, Greek yogurt, typically there's anywhere from 14 grams to 18 grams of protein per serving, right? So if I have two servings, roughly, I basically look at the, you know, you look at the, um, the container, right? You've got the, I personally get the, the bigger containers, um, just cost the cost of it. It lasts me longer and I get more. Um, but if you need like the little sample sizes, that's like six ounces or something like that, use that, do whatever works best for you. It's your bucking fit life, not mine. I'm just the guide. So I get that big old tub and I get, I do about two and a half servings. Okay. I get scoop about half of it. I'll add it to my cereal. I will add some chia seeds in it every now and then. Um, I sometimes will do a dollop into my protein pancakes um, that I talk about all the time, and um, not a lot, not a lot, just just a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I don't want the protein pancakes to be wet or taste like yogurt, so be mindful there. But um, with it, you know, I have two and a half, so two and a half of, let's just make the math easy, of 15 grams per serving. So that's 37 and a half grams in one meal. Now I also get some, um, cereal that every now and then it has anywhere from like the special K I believe, um, has anywhere from nine grams to 15 grams of protein per serving. And I do about a serving and a half there. So with um, the yogurt and the cereal, because I prefer yogurt with cereal rather than milk with cereal. I don't know why, it just it, 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 it bothers my tummy. And I don't know why, but it does. So I, you know, that's a, that's a yellow light for me. It's not a red light, it's not a red light, but it's one of those like, why is that? And sometimes it's because I eat too fast. Slow down and savor. Look at all, look at all these lessons just coming back. Look at all these lessons just coming back. That's good, right? Huh? So, um, with the, the yogurt and the cereal, you know, in one sitting, I can have about 50 grams of protein. Now for myself, because mine is based on athletic performance and building more muscle and maintaining more lean muscle mass, especially when I'm unable to work out as much as I would like to be doing, 
my protein goal, that's about a quarter of my protein goal. My protein goal is between 175 grams and 200 grams a day um, because I need to repair and rebuild my muscles after straining them so much. Also, um, as, as we have talked about with um, genetics, the, our DNA is built on protein structures. So the, the logic and the resources behind it would uh, encourage the emphasis of one gram of protein per pound of body weight. That's where more of that analogy comes into play and where that research has, has been built upon, okay? So, um, but yeah, that's one way. And there's 50 grams right there. You might only weigh 120 pounds. Boom. That's like three eighths of your um, goal already. You're almost halfway there in one meal. Um, another thing, like a lot of protein powders are anywhere from 20 to 30 grams. If you do two scoops at a time, there's 40 to 60 grams of protein in one protein shake. Now, please understand, you don't have to drink that all right away. It's 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 a throughout the day thing, okay? Um, and and make sure that you're you're going after food. And again, let's see, we did protein bars, or well, we've done protein bar for 20, then we did yogurt and cereal, and then we did protein powder. We haven't really had any whole foods, right? So chicken, lean ground beef, those eggs, um, the, bah, 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 the tofu, the beans, the edamame. If you had some tacos for dinner, there's another way, great way to round it out, okay? So if, if this was your meal for the day, or if this is what you ate in a day, and understand, it's gonna, it, it should change a little bit day to day. I'm a big fan of oatmeal with a little bit of protein powder. Um, and I'll have that, you know, every other day. It really helps me stay regular, you know, digestion, um, which is important to me because it should be important to everyone. Your your pooping is pooping is necessary. Okay, it's necessary. So um, we have twenty grams here. You've got fifty with the cereal and yogurt. And then, did I drop some? Oh, oh, I don't want to miss any. I don't want to miss those grams of protein. Um, uh, you've got, so we're now at about 70 grams of protein in a snack, yogurt cereal, more of a meal, definitely more of a meal, um, or maybe it's a snack for you. And then a protein shake, another 50. That's 120 grams of protein. Boom. For some people, you're done. You're, you've already hit your goal. For others, yep, if you are, uh, if your body has more mass, your protein goal will most likely be higher. Now, what I would encourage you to do with that, if, hypothetically, let's say you're 250 pounds, okay? If your goal is to lose weight, I would encourage you, let's say you want to get down to 220 pounds over the course of six months. So it's a pretty aggressive weight loss goal, 30 pounds in six months, which would require you to lose five pounds per month. Definitely doable, definitely doable, but that would be considered a more aggressive goal. Now, what I would say for your protein goal then is to shoot closer to 200 to 220 grams. There you go. Shoot closer to where you want to end up because, and, and you can have more, but also don't be discouraged when you don't get enough. It's, it's all relative. And the more we can have it across the board um, throughout the weeks and months and years, that's where we're going to notice that, that everlasting change. Too many times we think about it day to day and it's like, ah, oh, I didn't, I had too many calories or I didn't eat enough or blah, 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 blah. It's all, you got to think about it on that spectrum, remember? Okay, we, we got to break it down into more weeks than we do days. It's very hard to judge yourself during a guitar session when you're shredding away and it's really difficult and I'm terrible, but then a week later, you, you're playing it with ease. You got to give yourself time. Weight shouldn't be fat loss, weight loss, building muscle, health gain, whatever your main focus is or body recompositioning or athletic performance, you got to stick with it. It's about that consistency. 
for my actors in the audience. You don't just book one show and then you're done for the rest of your life and you got it. Nope. Take some time. Let it take some time. Okay. But those are just a couple of ways that I personally do it. Um, I always try to each week do a big meal prep of, um, of meat so that I have it throughout the week. I personally go to, uh, go to Kroger and I get two rotisserie chickens for 10 bucks, two full rotisserie chickens for $10. That'll last me at least five days, at least five days. And I get plenty of protein out of that. Plenty. Now, if you don't have access to that, then find find your other ways to get chicken or find your other ways to get a leaner type of meat. Um, this past, uh, this, literally this, oh hey, the other day I was just doing a, a live video and um, I put together some fat 80-20, 80% beef that contained 23 grams of fat to 19 grams of protein. The more meat I ate of that, the more fat I got than protein. Now, sure, you could say, yeah, but there's like no carbs. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that there's not more calories coming in because calories do count. They do count. Even if you don't count them, they still count. And so with, with that, I was like, oh man, I really want it because it's a different type of beef source than ground turkey. I, they didn't have like a leaner ground beef where I would have put them together. Um, but we get different micronutrients dependent upon the animal from which we are eating. Okay. So as I am, as I was doing that, I was like, you know what, I'm going to ground up some, uh, lean ground Turkey and put that together, which is way more lean. I believe it's 17 grams of protein to maybe six grams of fat. So all in all, you know, I'm looking at 30 grams of fat to 36 grams of protein. So it's still not that great, but it's definitely better than what it was. And so look for those modifications. And I'm certainly not saying you can't have fats, but if your goal is to have a higher protein goal and consume less calories, it would be more beneficial for you to have leaner cuts of meat and less because they will have less overall calories and more protein. Cool. I am going to finish my protein bar. Um, I'll apologize to anyone who doesn't like seeing people talk with their mouth full of food. Um, that's on me. But I just wanted to make it a little more lifelike, like we're sharing a meal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, I'm finishing this up. You all have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Hey there, I'm Tyler Buckingham, creator of the Bucking Fit Life Masterclass Series, and I want to invite you to head to the link below, not only just to get a free mini workbook where you get the tastings of what you can expect inside of the Masterclass Series, but also if you go through that, not only will you radically improve your life, but then I want to invite you to join the Bucking Fit Life and join myself in a community of experts where we help you live healthier, more sustainable lives because health shouldn't be so difficult. And we're here to show you how it's not. We'll see you on the inside.